Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heike. This is Lola the Ragdoll Cat, my furry assistant. Um, and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Today I have another final review for you and Lola is trying to push it out of the focus of the camera because she wants to be the center of attention as always. Um, this is the little Riolis kit. I unboxed not too long ago. I finished it in July. I think it only took me about two days. It was a very quick one. It's only a 20 by 25 centimeter kit. Um, that translates to 8 by 10 inch, I think. And it was very quick. It is a square diamond painting. It had 11 colors. And yeah, this is how it turned out. And I think it is actually for the size a super cute little painting. Riolis is actually a cross-stitching company. I think they are from mm, Lithuania, maybe Latvia. I'm pretty sure they are from the Baltics. Um, so they only recently started producing diamond painting kits after the hobby got more and more um, popular. And I saw them on other channels, but I've never tried them before. And when I saw the kits in my um, online store where I get some of my cross stitch supplies, I thought, why not? Let's try it. So let's start with the things I did not like super much about this kit, which would first be the price. Like I th said, this is a 20 by 25 centimeter kit and I think it cost me nearly 16 euro which is quite pricey. Um, I usually don't like to compare these kits that are actually licensed and from brands um, that people know to China kits but something like that this you could easily get for three to four euros on AliExpress. Um, that being said like I said this is a licensed kit it is um, from a brand company even though they are actually cross stitch brand and not diamond painting but like I said a lot of cross stitch companies are going there right now and I have to say the quality was good enough that I'm going to say now the price is actually not too bad. Um, second little negative point about this is um, this is printed Lola you are a menace this is printed on a very fine satiny fabric. Can you see that? This is not your regular canvas. This is really more like a poly fabric. And um, that means that the print, it was pretty clear, but some of the symbols were a bit fuzzy, mostly the white on dark. So these two colors here mostly, they came out a little bit fuzzy. That's why I'm saying it's just a minor little negative point. <clears throat> I did not work on this with a light pad or anything, so it was not really an issue. Now that's that's all the negative I have for this. Positive, um, the drill quality is amazing in this kit. You can see it, it is shiny, it is sparkly. The drills have this glass quality to them, like you're used to from, for example, Evermoment, if we are speaking, AliExpress, um, Diamond Art Club usually, Dreamer Designs, I've been told, have these drills. So that's where you know this quality from. It's a very high quality. Um, none of these little nubs and non-straight edges and stuff that you know from a lot of diamond painting kits out there for the last oh, two years now, sadly. Um, sorry, taking a drink. It is still boiling hot. There was very little trash in there. That's all I picked out. As you can see, mostly black and a few of the <coughs> a few of the gray drills. Um, this is not a lot, so I can't really complain about this. I think there are actually also a few stray drills because there's nothing wrong with that one, for example. That's perfectly fine. Same for that. So there are also a few stray drills in here. Um, I have no popping drills. I think they look pretty straight. I worked a bit with um, multi-placers on this. 
though I usually don't do this on squares at all, um, but I thought why not, this is a good project to try it again. You can see that a little bit, um, some of the lining is a bit crockled, like here in this part for example, but it's, it's very minor. Um, and I think there's also not too much gapping. There's a little, a little bit of gapping in the black, but you won't be able to see that unless you put a light pad underneath it. But it's it's really nothing major. Um, also positive, the amount of drills. So let's put that painting over here. I color completed on this kit. So that means I put the little labels they gave me on the backs they gave me and I just finished the color and then de-kitted right away. And as you can see, I have tons of black left. And if you consider the green is only in the eyes, if you look at how much leftover drills I have here, I think I literally used, this is the medium color. So that means in this one here, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, drills and probably just as many over here maybe one more and if you look at how many leftover drills i have this is ridiculous same for the other two colors so this is really 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 a lot of leftover drills there wasn't a single moment in doing this where i thought i might run out sorry about that it wouldn't be a video of mine without any kind of interruption by something that makes noise, isn't it? Um, so anyway, what I was saying, um, plenty of leftover drills, not a single color where I was afraid I might run out at any point. So I'm, I'm very, very um, happy with that. Positive for me also is the overall outcome for such a small painting. This is actually incredibly good as far as I can say. Also the size is nice because this is pretty much standard size. Um, I think 8x10 or 20x25 is this one exception to the rule where you actually can get a fitting frame in the US as well as in the other parts of the world um, that use different norms for their, for their sizes like we do here with our D norms. Um, so that's that's also quite nice. I think I could just walk into a shop and buy a frame for that, which I might do because I think I mentioned before, I'm really thinking about giving this to my grandma. Rule about not giving grandma anything to decorate her, home, her room, be damned. <laughs> Such a rule breaker. Um, overall, I can say yes, I would recommend the quality of these kits. I will say though that the bigger the kits get, um, the more expensive they, of course, also get. And then you are reaching price ranges that are actually above what um, you might be used to from, for example, Diamond Art Club and Dreamer designs. But yeah, if if you like the images, I would say still go for it. It is not like with the other companies who license out artwork from artists. Um, it's it's more of, of a standard repertoire. So not as exciting, which is probably going to be the reason why you won't see many Riolis kits on my channel. Um, because I find them to be a bit too standard for my liking. But that's not what, what doing this kit and reviewing this kit is about. It's about what quality do they offer and the quality I would say is very, very, very good. Um, there are some minor things, but nothing I would say should keep you from buying if you are interested in any of the images they offer. As for purchasing, I would suggest um, just to Google them. You're probably going to find their kits in cross-stitch shops, um, but there might also be, uh, I don't know if you have diamond painting specific online shops in the US that, that sell kits like that. Um, they might also be in there. <laughs> I have mostly found them in cross-stitch shops. So that's it. More, uh, there's nothing more to say about this, this little kit here. I hope you still enjoyed it and yeah. Let me know what you think of this in the comment box down below. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. And next, oh, not next week, week after next, I'll be back with daily crafty chats. 
Right now I'm on vacation as you know and all the videos you'll see are pre-recorded. But I will be back in the second week of September. Alright guys, bye!